I want my students when they graduate to be able to succeed in the world. And I want them in particular to be able to succeed in computer science. So I really want them to be prepared to exist in a world where algorithmic thinking is an important part of their everyday lives. The main courses that I teach are Engine 101 and EECS 280. I also spend a lot of my time mentoring students, doing mobile application development, entrepreneurial type activities, and sort of work outside the classroom, giving them experience with real world applications. An exciting part about my job is that I get to teach at least a third, if not a half, of all incoming freshmen into the College of Engineering. One of my major teaching philosophies is the use of active learning in the classroom. Instead of standing up in front of the classroom and lecturing at the students and expecting them to listen to me and understand everything that I say, I really try to make it as friendly as possible, as engaging as possible, and let the students realize that it's an incredibly important discipline. I'm the faculty mentor for a student organization called M-Suite. It was formed a couple of years ago by some students who were working on a mobile version of C-Tools. Uh, and in the process of working on that application, we realized that there was a lot more that students could be doing in the mobile application development space. We currently have 50 members, if not more, and several alumni who have gone on to such places as Microsoft and Facebook and Google. We have students from across the university, the School of Business, School of Art and Design, and it's much more of a real world experience. And so instead of taking a one track uh, view on application development, they actually get to experience what it's like to develop applications in the real world. I actually started my entire career here at the University of Michigan as an undergraduate and went through all of my degrees here in uh, computer engineering. That's pretty much where it got started. And so now my sole purpose in life is to teach. You know, it's, it's something that I really enjoy doing and, and I'm glad that I have the opportunity to do it.